going to see some nice fall like temperatures as we go into the night and it's going to stick around for several days. No going back into the 80s. We'll see another cold front arrive tomorrow night. That's going to keep some fall like temperatures around next week. So as we take a live look outside, you can see the beautiful weather. Can't even find a cloud right now, at least in the New Orleans area. 69 degrees, winds out of the north northeast at 6 miles per hour, and the humidity is lower. As we check temperatures area wide, mainly into the low 70s. Burris, though, down to 66 degrees. So looking at your evening forecast, once again, we'll see a clear sky and temperatures dropping into the 50s on the north shore, still hanging on to the low 60s closer toward the lake. And of course, we have our full blue moon tonight. Don't go looking for a blue sky. It just means it's the second full moon of the month. The moon rise again at 633 this evening and it'll set tomorrow at 702. And then a reminder that daylight saving time ends at 2 a.m. So we're going to see clocks going back an hour once we get toward 2 a.m. And then we'll have new sunset and sunrise times to get used to. It sets at 614 tonight, rises again at 615 in the morning, and then it'll be setting at 513 tomorrow evening. As we take a look at what's happening across the U.S., not too much happening. Here's our next cold front that's going to be passing through. You don't really see a pronounced cooler air behind it, but some cooler air is going to be on the way. Now you see temperatures right now in the 70s across the central plains. We'll be at 73 for Sunday, down to 65 on Monday, and then back into the low 70s Tuesday and Wednesday, below our average high for this time of year, which is 76. Quiet conditions across our area on satellite and radar as we widen the view. You do see some clouds just off the coast, but really staying offshore, and so that's why our skies are clear. And then going back into the Caribbean, we have another system, Tropical Depression 29, wind still 35 miles per hour, moving west at 15. And here's the official track forecast to become a tropical storm tomorrow. And there could be a hurricane as it nears Nicaragua and Honduras, expected to move on shore as we go into Tuesday afternoon of next week, and then continuing to move further inland Central America as we go toward Wednesday and Thursday. And as we look at the forecast plots, you see most of them going into Nicaragua, but a couple of them trying to turn this to the north, and I have seen a forecast model wanting to turn this to the north, uh, but something that we'll have to continue to watch still well too far out. So right now, just going with what's happening uh, from the National Hurricane Center's forecast. If anything changes, of course, we'll let you know. Ada will be the next name on the list, and that's the furthest we'll have made it down the list. In 2005, we only made it to Zeta, and so this would be the first time we've used Ada in our hurricane season. Meanwhile, back here at home, again, we'll see clear skies overnight. Temperatures dropping to the upper 40s for some areas, I think, of the North Shore. 50s to low 60s on the South Shore. And as we go through the day, lots of sunshine. Highs will be climbing uh, back into the low 70s. And then check out your seven-day forecast. As we go toward Election Day, may see some upper 30s on the North Shore. So some cold temperatures arriving with the next front. As you see, lots of sunshine. Clouds increasing, though, and a little bit warmer as we go toward next weekend.